In other legislative news, Alabama currently screens newborn babies for some but not all conditions on the U.S. Department of Human Services recommended list. Yeah, but a bill in the state legislature would change that. News 19 state capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple heard from rare disease advocates who say early screening saves lives. Parents at the state house say if they had known about their children's condition at birth, they could have saved years of waiting for a diagnosis and in that time gotten better treatment for their child. They don't want other families to go through the same thing. To help the friends that we haven't met yet, because I know how hard it is to go down this path. That's the goal of the Zachary Thomas Newborn Screening Act. It would add four rare diseases to Alabama's screening process and all future ones that are part of the recommended uniform screening panel. Zachary Thomas is a 14-year-old from Foley who was born with a rare genetic condition, MPS1. I can't run that fast at the other kids. I can't. Uh, sometimes think properly um, and I had to go to doctor appointments and more than a normal kid. Thomas says he wants to be a politician someday to help others, but for now is lending his voice to support HB 77. Representative Philip Rigsby is sponsoring it in the House. He says at this point it should not cost the state anything to update the screening process. There's 10,000 or, or more rare diseases. Not all of those have treatments yet, but the ones that we know have treatments, we need to make sure those families have answers and have those early. And if we can do that with public health and support that initiative, that's what we should do. Now, the Alabama Department of Public Health is supporting this bill. They helped write it. And so far, 11 other states have taken steps to improve their newborn screening process. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19. The bill's first step is the House Health Committee. It has not yet been scheduled.